Now that he owns Twitter, what will the billionaire Elon Musk do next? That is the question we will try to answer today. Because for only 44 billion dollars, the richest man in the world will soon have the golden key to one of the biggest platforms for free speech. The same guy who tweets Silly things like these. My Twitter is pretty much complete nonsense at this point. I put the art in fart, he tweeted. Whose impulsive posts have moved entire markets with a click of a button. Will now have a control over hundreds of millions of people on Twitter. So, what will he do with this new kind of power? Will he be able to make social media less toxic? Will he invite the banned Donald Trump back into the platform? And most importantly, will he keep his promise of making his social media a place for freedom of speech? How does he plan on doing it since right now Twitter can get incredibly toxic? The amount of hatred, division and pettiness that rule this space are very strong. And perhaps that is why only recently Elon Musk was one of the main voices that were criticizing Twitter. He was speaking out against some of its features, saying that it's not the best at protecting free speech. And so, obviously, what do ultra-rich billionaires do when they want things their own way? They buy the company. And now that he owns it, here is what he promised to do for you. He promises to remove automated spam accounts and authenticate real human users. He will make Twitter's algorithms open to the public so that you can trust the platform. And as I said earlier, most importantly, he wants to fix Twitter's problem with freedom of speech. Just look at what he recently said about his own haters. I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter because that is what free speech means. With this in mind, Donald Trump might be invited back to Twitter. Because Elon wants to be less strict with banning certain types of content so that all voices can be heard. And you might disagree with me on this, but there is something I know. Conservative voices are often discouraged from expressing their opinions on woke social media. They are being silenced with too many topics being limited and it doesn't leave much space for debate and healthy conversations. I am getting so tired of this woke world. That is why I am personally excited to see what Elon does next, because I deeply believe that freedom of speech must be protected on the internet at all costs. Until then, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you believe social media deserves more freedom of speech?